Hello, I'm going to show you some uh, redstone base I made. In Minecraft, <clears throat> these are some of the tests that I used to like build a redstone base. They were just like tests. And at normal, those are also some tests that I try to make. Normally, that just looks like a mountain, right? No, you're wrong. Okay, so using a redstone... Using a redstone repeater and a redstone torch, it powers that block, which powers this line of redstone, which goes and powers that redstone repeater, which is replenishes the signal, and goes ahead and powers that block. Now, that block, in its normal state, powers this piston. So, this piston pushes this redstone block out of the way, which stops powering, which stops powering this redstone repeater, which stops powering this redstone, which stops powering this, um which stops powering the piston which then the observer observes that and that's how we get the signal inside that's how we get a redstone signal which oh my god yeah i built that because i just wanted to test you put a redstone torch on a block but then now i realize that this whole thing is completely useless but it's cool it's cool it's cool you hear the p piston noises and you hear what's that and it just sounds cool all right, I'll use this sort of contraption in another video. So then it goes over here, it powers this redstone repeater, which goes underground. So here we have a series of elaborate contraptions to keep the door open a long time. Because normally it would just open really quickly and then close. But here we have it, so redstone repeater. And then these are redstone comparators, which display the same... Um, the same, how do you call it? The same power block that it has behind. So it loses one, one signal strength each time it goes through. So basically, it starts powering it, replenishes, then it stops powering it, re replenishing it, but then it replenishes it through here, and then it stops replenishing it, which all goes over here to activate this piston. I'll tell you what that does later, but right now, Basically, how this works is it has two modes. It's basically 32 ticks, I'm pretty sure. Not 32 ticks. It's probably more like 15 ticks. Anyways, um, moving on over here. Once that's done, that's basically like a timer or to keep the gate open. Anyways, it pushes this piston, which then powers this, which powers this to stop to stop powering that block right there. Now you're saying, how do we unpower the rest of these blocks? So you move over here, and we have two redstone repeaters. So a repeater can be used to target a specific block individually, because redstone is like doesn't want to target a specific block individually, and that's kind of annoying. But here, you just have to power a block beneath a redstone torch in order to power it off. Alright, so that's two redstone torches down. Then we go up, up, up. Then we have this redstone torch. And then you go across here and then the other redstone torch. So that's basically the entrance. Let me show you. Game mode creative. No. Game mode creative. So just this. This. One, two, three, four. So basically like four to five seconds. All right, now you're saying, this looks kind of boring for a base, you know? But then you realize, why is there a water cauldron in here? And why, there's just a chest. Let's say um, there's like a whole stack of diamonds. You're saying, oh, that's the entire thing, right? Wrong, hold up. That actually is suspicious. Um, you say, wrong. So, let me just show you. Game, game mode spectator. Alright, so basically, since this is full, it's keeping this comparator alive. And this comparator alive, it has a very low redstone signal, because... Actually, I don't know, but either way, we use a repeater to replenish it. And basically, that repeater runs to two locations. The first location is over here. Oh god, it's so dark. 
So basically, it runs through here, and then over here, over here, which basically powers these two, right? So here we have a simple um, double piston extender. We have an observer, and then that will power this, since it's basically like a button press. And then we have two pistons, so basically when this goes, it pushes this block up, which then... Um, also, we need another block here, or else it wouldn't work. Um, let's see. Yeah, you need to destroy that one. Uh, anyways. It basically pushes double up, and then powers that. So basically, when it's unpowered, it pulls the two pistons down. And, oh yeah, let me tell you what extra we have. So basically, you're in the base, you're saying, hey, how do we, how do we keep, how do we keep it powered on? You're saying, oh yeah, so basically, uh, we have redstone over here, which is connected to this block, and then we have a redstone repeater. And what we learned from the entrance is that if we put a redstone torch right there, it keeps the whole thing powered on, so it doesn't make your enemies suspicious. And then... Uh, I was trying to make a whole thing here where it would retract the, um, it would retract the, what's it called? It would retract the carpet, but I don't think so. So, alright, let me just show you. <clears throat> Creative. Alright. So, you pick that up. It does a bunch of things. Two, yeah, you're gonna have to destroy this or move it just one more up. Alright, then you're saying, how do we close it? Easy. Torch, which basically powers it all again. And then you want to shift through all this because then someone will just see you. Quickly shift and unshift. And then you're saying, so basically what I tried to do here. Basically what I tried to do here is use a comparator to see how full the chest was. So if you put another thing inside of it, it would sh uh, it would pull back the carpet and show more chests. So basically, it's still more chests. Super flat is the best for redstone if you want to do redstone. But if you want to do like secret bases in a mountain, you could do this, but it doesn't look as good as if it was a naturally generated mountain. Um... Anyways, you can copy all the designs. I don't really care. No, I want you to copy it. I want you to see how you can make this better. And in the comments below, I want you to see how this would work. Because I tried it and it just looked horrible. Because it would... Um, game mode... Because it would just be like... Uh, it was just going to be... An extended piston, and then if you covered that up, that just looks horrible. You know, you know that that thing is gonna be pulled down. You know. So I think I just stuck with just break, just break the carpet and see what's under it. Uh, if you guys want to see more redstone contraptions, I'm willing to show you. Oh, whoopsies. I'm willing to show you. And then just break that when you want to get out, and then just fill the cauldron again. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. So basically, this is what you use to power it on, but I left a small hole opening here, so that if you want to exit, you just put that there, and it closes up. So, uh, time set, no, set today. I wanted to show you something else really quick. The maximum a piston can push up is 12 blocks, no matter what it is. I use use slime to push up um, consecutively, and use honey to push up consecutively. Honey, slime cannot push up honey, honey cannot push up slime. So basically, they're like two different things, just in case. Uh, same thing here. Uh, this is more than 12. Don't look at that. If you want to detect moving entities, use an observer and then use um, string. You hear that? So basically what I try to make is when zombies come towards you, you're staying here and then it like pushes double up. But then I realized that you're going to have to build a double piston extender. Well, I didn't even know what a double piston extender was. It takes up a lot of space. It's... 
two by three, I'm pretty sure. Two by three. And I didn't really want to do that. I might do it later. And then I wanted to see how you would do it. Powered, and that's powered off. Um, what else did I find? Oh, yeah. So, another thing is that I wanted to build, like, this. Where if a zombie walks over it, you'd be dropped into a minecart and led into a base. So, it's basically kind of like an AFK sort of thing. I mean, if you want to build it, um, I'm pretty sure that's all the redstone I built. Um, thanks for watching, and that's been episode one of Cool Redstone Contraptions. <laughs> or, like, what should I title this?